that starts with by clicking Add Company. And once you connect to QuickBooks, uh, connect to QuickBooks, so go through that walkthrough. Now all of your different clients. For this example, we're going to go to our test account, which then checks to make sure that all of our integrations are active and that the plugin is installed. And then we can go to our compliance check and try to type in what um, date range we're trying to do a compliance check for. Um, just going to do 2021 because this is a test account. Now, this first screen is our setup screen. What it does is it asks you to decide what type of entity um, your business is. If you don't know, just click you don't know. But if you do, if you know that, hey, this is a pass-through LLC, partnership, S-Corp, or corporation, you can choose um, that entity type. And based on the entity type that is shown, it will give you a list of rules that we're checking for. So one of these for corporations is it's looking at an equity review to make sure you're not using um, GL accounts that do not relate to C-Corps. So if you have a C-Corp, you would not be using owner's equity. So you want to make sure that that is not being utilized right here. Some of the other reviews that we're able to go through are to make sure your checking and credit cards are reconciled through the date that's asked and that there are no unclear transactions for you to review. Uh, a depreciation and amortization review to make sure that your accumulated depreciation on your balance sheet during this period equals your depreciation expense on your income statement. Same thing with accumulated amortization and amortization expense. Other things are opening balance equity, um, which is explaining right here why we flag it for something to you know make sure that people might want to look at. QuickBooks uses this as a default account, but if you look at any balance sheets that are presented, um, you really won't see them uh, listed at GL account. Same thing with their default for uncategorized assets. Your clearing account or uncategorized transactions, it will check for that to make sure that everything got um, into your account properly. And also is giving you a flag for undeposited funds to make sure that that is reviewed, um, which is basically the account that is used if um, you receive, let's say you have an invoice on December 1st, you receive a check for December 30th, you mark that into your system as great, this invoice is paid, but it's undeposited because you didn't get to the bank um, until January. Where this can be an issue is if you use a bunch of sync software, it sometimes imports item receipts that will then just be housed in this undeposited funds account. So you could even reconcile all your accounts properly and not know that you're doubling up your income because it's being pushed into this undeposited funds account, which is why we always want to review it. So these are some of the base checks we have right now. We chose the uncategorized transaction check, so we just need to set this up which means like choosing what our clearing account is and where we don't want transactions to be. And now that this is set up, we just click start and it will start to grab data from QuickBooks to be able to do our compliance check. This normally takes around a minute. And now that it's synced the data, it's running through its checks, which will just take a few seconds. All right, now you'll see that we have our results listed and it's saying that we are not very accurate here. So there are some things that we will wanna look at. So the first is this credit card and checking reconciliation. So we can see right here that we are wrecked through the end of this period. However, there's one unclear transaction. So let's look over this. So where it's showing is, hey, this looks like there is an American Express expense that's going in that was not on your statement for this period. So this is more than likely going to be something that we need to fix within QuickBooks. We have some other accounts that just have not been reconciled, these two, through the review period. And then again, we have TD Bank, which has two transactions that we're going to need 
to look into and see if these are duplicates. Outside of that, the other accounts are good. One of the things you can do is if you wanted to override this, and again, we're working on a bunch of rapid features to be able to have them here. And let's say it was the unclear transaction was a check. And based on you know IRS guidelines, if it's a written check, we want to say that, hey, that still counts as an expense in the current year because you shouldn't change the books of original entry for those. So we could override those. I'm just using this as an example. Now this would pass. Eventually we're gonna add where you can add details. It'll show who overrode it, have an audit trail, et cetera. But then that would up your accuracy. Another place to look right here is our depreciation. So right here saying, huh, during the period you have no depreciation expense, but you have accumulated depreciation. So let's look at that. So right here on the balance sheet, you'll see this $690 worth of accumulated depreciation. Let's just see how this journal entry went in. And we can see that it incorrectly went to rent. So I'm gonna change that to depreciation expense. Right here. And then let's rerun this compliance check to see uh, what will happen and see if we can pass this depreciation and amortization check. So again, I'll grab the data from QuickBooks. All right, and now so since we reran this check, these are then flagged. But if we look at the depreciation, saying, great, you're solid. You line that up, you're good to go here. Our opening balance equity was not used for this period, so we passed it right here. Under uncategorized assets, we had some transactions, so we're probably gonna need to fix these as well. And then right here, it says, hey, your undeposited funds was zero for this period. Does that look accurate? And again, 57% accurate. Let's mark that as accurate, great. We checked it and our accuracy goes up. So then on that case, if you want to, you know, save it for later or if you want to fix them and rerun it, you can. If you do click, you know, save for later or finish and save, your compliance checks results are going to be saved so that you can look back at them and see these details. Um,